This is Hello Channel. Come learn English as you watch TV. It will change your life. These stuffed cheese breadsticks are one of my new favorite foods. They're absolutely amazing. Let me show you how we do it. First of all, you're going to use just some regular store-bought breadstick dough. I got these in the local, my local supermarket, and it's gonna pop, it's gonna explode. Oh my gosh, it scares me every time. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is take one of these breadsticks, just tear it right off, and I usually like to roll it in a ball first, and then kind of roll it lengthwise. And I put it down on the cookie sheet and I use just the heel of my hand. And I make, it's about like a six by two rectangle, like so. Then I'm going to take string cheese, put it right in the center, and then close up the sides. And make sure that that seam is definitely closed or else you'll have cheese that oozes everywhere. Which isn't always a bad thing, but you want most of the cheese to be inside the breadstick. Good, once you've done so and made sure that that is tightly closed up, flip it over so that the seam is face down. Let's do one more. I really like these as a study snack or just a great treat. They're also paired wonderfully with pizza or pasta. It's kind of a mixture between a breadstick and a cheese stick. But let me tell you, I discovered how to make these a few weeks ago and I've been making them ever since. And it doesn't get any easier than this. But once you've got that six by two rectangle, once again, just close up those sides. And fold off the tops. Good. I like to serve them with marinara sauce, but you could also serve them with a ranch dressing or maybe a fettuccine sauce. Nice, would be really good. And we'll just do one more here. Looks good. Doesn't get easier than buying some string cheese and wrapping breadstick dough around it. These are great. The cheese just seems to melt in your mouth. Okay. Get that seam face down. Now the most important part of the breadsticks. We add the butter. Because butter makes everything taste better. We are going to add just a pinch of garlic powder. Stir that in. And be as generous as you'd like with the butter. This will help the breadsticks have a nice golden color on top when they bake. And of course, when they come out, we will butter them again. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Stuffed cheese breadsticks. They're gonna go in at 450 degrees for eight to 10 minutes, not very long. You're gonna be a happy person when these come out of the oven because they taste absolutely fabulous. This is one recipe you don't wanna pass up.